Guys, in today's uh, lesson, we will look at something really special. So I will not say what it is right from the very beginning, but you will tell me. Mm. Are you ready? Yes, yes. Okay, let me just open the file. Okay, this way. Uh, today we... Oh, just a minute. Great. So, uh, you know guys, international examinations. Um, there are so many English international examinations, as you know. Can, can you give me any examples? Any examples? TOEFL, TOEFL thank I you. Like thank you very much. So, TOEFL, the American TOEFL. Great. Uh, what I else? Am. IELTS. IELTS. Very good. Thank you very much. This is an IELTS. What else? SAT. SAT. Very good. What else? Uh, uh -huh. Do you know this one? Yeah. Exactly. That is the PTE. Okay. Let me just like give you an overview of what PTE is. So this is the test that we're going to talk about. For sure, it is. I will not teach you everything in PTE, but today we'll be covering one skill only. So you don't have to worry. It's very easy. And also the test itself is really interesting. It contains things that the TOEFL and the IELTS don't include. Let's see. So as you see, the test is divided into three main divisions. Okay, so here we have the speaking and writing, then the reading, and the next one is listening. Listening is the last one, uh, but in some of the tests, listening is the first one, yeah. right? Yeah. Like TOEFL and IELTS, the uh, listening, the listening skill is the first skill to be uh, to be measured or to be taken. Very good. As you see, guys, so we will in particular talk about uh, speaking and writing, but not like everything. We will focus on speaking a lot. Um, as you see, so here we have so many, let's say, um, points exactly to discuss. So we have here the personal introduction, read aloud, repeat sentence, uh, describe image, retell a lecture, answer short questions, summarize written text, and finally, write an essay. Today we will just take one of them only, which is read it out. Can you imagine it or not, guys, in this test, they just show you something and you're supposed to read it. Mm -hmm. So just like before we begin with it, um, what do you think? Is it something, do you think it's kind of easy or yeah. challenging? No, it's easy. So generally, generally when someone um, shows you a sentence, you'll say it's easy to repeat. But at the same time, at the end of the day, this is a test, and we're supposed to take into account that things will not be as easy as expected. So there must be techniques, strategies to implement to be able to do this one and maximize your score. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Very good. So let's move on to the next thing. Uh, first of all, I'd love to begin with read aloud instructions. So we have some instructions because Later on, I will show you the interface of the test. Uh, guys, you will read silently from 30 to 40 seconds. So, they will give you time to read silently, okay? And then, you speak to the microphone, and next, you click next. Uh, by the way, you have 40 seconds also to speak to the microphone as well. So, they give you 40 seconds to read silently, and then you have 40 seconds to talk to the microphone or to speak to the microphone. Maybe, like, you might ask yourself this question, what about if I finish before 40 seconds? Like, would it be a problem? Actually, it's not a problem. If you're done within 25 seconds, 30 seconds, etc., you can just click on next, and you'll move on to the next question. Um, is it just like one sentence to listen and repeat, or let's say one, uh, uh, sorry, to read aloud? Actually, it's not just one sentence, it's just a short paragraph. And there will be from six to seven items. Um, let's move on to the next thing. So, so far, do you have any questions about the instructions? No, thanks. Very good. Thank you very much. This is, let's say, the interface. You're supposed to take into account, guys, that there will be from six to seven tasks. Reading, uh, reading passages like this. Uh, also, the speaking time varies according to the length of the text, uh, of the test or text. So you have from 35 to 40 seconds. So this time might be or might vary according to the text if it's long or not long. Uh, the other one, 
time before the microphone closes, and this is something very good, before the microphone closes, so uh, you will be notified three seconds before it closes, okay? And the length of the text is between 40 to 60 words. Uh, finally, what, what, does it, what does it measure? What is it test for? So it, uh, it's just for the sake of measuring your reading and speaking skills. Simply because you read and you speak. Very good. Actually, you just say the sentences. This is a kind of oral thing you do. So, so far, do you have any questions? Uh, no, is everything clear? Very good. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd love just to ask you to do something for me. So, here I've got some handouts. Um, open, open it, please. Mm -hmm. So, I'd like you to uh, I'd like you to go to page three. Um, as we already agreed that you have 30 to 40 seconds to look at the text, right? Please look at the text within 30 to 40 seconds. I'll just set the timer through my uh, laptop. Just a minute. Did you get your reading, guys? Yes. Well done. Okay. Here you go. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Stop reading. I have a question to you. While you were reading silently, what were you doing? Understanding the structure. Very good. So you try to understand what the text is about. Yes. That's a good point. What else? Uh, knowing the different words. Like, it's a word. The uh -huh. long word. Like what, what did you say? The long word. Very good. So try to recognize the words that are long multi-syllable words, and also you tried to, let's say, decode them. You know, decode, it's just try to try to say them. Actually, you did the right thing. Um, so, whenever you have 30 to 40 seconds to read, uh, you don't have time to read everything. So, you're supposed to do two things. First of all, try to focus on the big words, the multi-syllable words, the words that you feel that they, they are a little bit unknown to you. Okay? And the second thing, try to guess what the text is about. Because at the end of the day, when you read something, you should know what you're reading about, right? Yeah. You so mean, You mean the keywords. Exactly, very good. So just focus on the keywords and focus on the big words or the multisyllable words or the words that you don't know. Okay? Well done, guys. Very good job. Um, so, um, the, uh, you should know something about this test before just we move on to the next step. Uh, what elements to be scored? I mean, when do they decide that this, uh, that, that this test, for example, is a kind of elementary test, intermediate test, upper intermediate test, or advanced test after, after your voice is recorded? What things do they look at? Um, so there are three main elements you're supposed to take into account. First of all is the content. Uh, the second one is the pronunciation. Finally is the oral fluency. And we will go through them uh, in details, inshallah. And like, I will give you some time. This is the same text that you have now. You're going to practice this test uh, or this text so many different times till you feel that you're able to read it fluently. But every time you read it, you will focus on something different. So be ready. Are you excited? Yes, we are. Very good. Excellent. Great. So let's begin. Uh, let's begin with scoring content. And we mean by content. Here I'm talking about the words or let's say the sentences that the text has, okay? This is the content itself. Uh, what am I supposed to do when I take the test? So scoring the content, you should be aware of three points. So when you read out, never add words. And 
never skip words, also never replace words. Because you know, we sometimes we have some clever students who know lots of vocabulary, so they want to replace some vocabulary with synonyms, right? Yes. Okay. Or some of them might do something silly, so they skip saying something. So, for example, um, a photographer's gaze widened during early years, so they don't say that. So be aware of this, guys. So you're supposed to say everything, okay? So three main things. So don't add words, don't skip words, and also don't, okay. don't replace words. Very good. Thank you very much. So what, what about practicing this? Are you ready for it? Sure. Great. So I'm going to give you just some time, let's say 30 seconds, to read it. You can just raise your voice a little bit, but not so much, so you don't annoy your classmate, you know, or disturb your classmate. Uh, listen. One, two, go. <laughs> Guys, I'm proud of you all. Do you know why? 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 Uh, simply because this text takes around, or needs around, 40 seconds. But, as far as I see, real advanced students, you could read it within 27 seconds. That was really good. Thanks, teacher. Mike, you made my day today. Thank you very much. So, do you understand what we mean by content? Mm -hmm. Did you skip anything, guys, when we're reading it? Oh. No skipping. Very good. Okay. Did you try to get back or focus on some vocabulary that were not known to you or were difficult to you? Repronouncing them. Okay, and this is something we're supposed to avoid when you repeat a sentence. Don't try to repronounce words and don't try to go back in case you need to. Okay? Very good. Are there any techniques to improve this skill? Yes, there will be really nice and important techniques to be implemented during the practice time and during the test time, inshallah. So let's move on to the next point. Great, this is, as you see, as, as we already explained to you, that is the interface of the test. Um, the test is really interesting, the shape of the test itself. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. What else do they score? We said the content, we said pronunciation, and we said as well oral fluency. Very good, three main elements. So well, that was the content. Now let's move on to something else, which is scoring pronunciation. We mean by pronunciation, it's just the way you produce or say words, right? Yes. Very good. And have so many, there are so many elements we should take care of. Uh, the first, first on the list is the consonants, consonant clusters, vowels, and word stress. Great. Um, so you know uh, the English alphabet? So there are lots of consonants. Maybe you don't remember how many consonants. How many consonants are there, guys? Uh, five. Five. Sorry? Five. So we're talking about consonants, not vowels. Uh, <laughs> all, the, all the alphabet. So let me just change it a little bit. Um, how many vowels are there, guys, in English? Five. There are five vowels, okay. Um, so what are they? Do, do you remember the vowels? E, I, O, A. U. Very good. E, A. I O U. What happened? Okay, you guys. Um, as we uh, as we just uh, because of the technical issue that we had, uh, we said that uh, there are four elements we should take into account uh, when we um, when we just like talk about pronunciation. First of the list is consonants, the consonant clusters, vowels, and word stress. Which one? Which one do you want me to explain to you? Let's see. More so, you mean, you mean by, you know what, consonants? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Very good. What about vowels? Do you know vowels? Yes. yes. Very good. It's easy. So, we said there are how many? Five. five. Uh, there are five. Okay. A, E, I, O, U. Very good. And you should know something that there are long vowels and short vowels. What you've just mentioned is, the sh uh, is a short, yes, the short one. Very good. Long vowels, we have the tephthongs and trephthongs, etc. Uh, the other one is consonant clusters. Oh, what consonant cluster is? 
A consonant cluster, guys, is just like two consonants followed by each other. Okay? Again, what is a consonant cluster? Two, two consonants followed by each other. Very good. Let me just show you some examples of consonant clusters. Look at this, guys. This is just one list. And to maximize your ability to do this, uh, let's say, test, especially this question, you're supposed to practice saying those words from time to time during the practice time. You know, before you take any test, you're supposed to do lots of practice. One of the practices, the best practices to do before you take the test is this. Try to read separate words that have consonant clusters, like this, for example, uh, able, babel, bubble, cable, double, fable, fable, um, gamble, so I don't know what it means, global, humble, label, etc. Okay? So just like practice saying them, because later on, when you just meet, uh, when you meet words that have, let's say, uh, those words, just as part of the words, they will be easy to you because you already know how to say them. Okay? So uh, I'd love just like to play a game with you for the time being. Um, I'm going to give you some time to just read the, uh, the list here silently. Just read it silently. Um, after you finish, I will let you know what to do. For the time being, uh, you will be given some time to read the whole list silently. Please don't. <coughs> Very good job. Thank you very much. Well done. Yes. Now, are you ready for my game? Yes. Sure of it? Yes. yes. Okay. By the way, you don't have to worry. It's not, it's not so challenging, not so difficult. So, I will just like... Uh, I will time... Uh, I will just set the timer and you're supposed to read as much words as, much words as you can. Okay? Beginning from right to left. Okay, B L C L F L G L. Got the point, guys. So when you finish this one, you move on to the next one. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Also, twenty-seven seconds, and let me see how many words you can do. You can read. So I will begin with you one by one. Who'd like to begin? <laughs> Who'd like to begin? Me. You? No, no, very good. The readers. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Look, we said when you do the read aloud, you never get back, right? Uh -huh. Okay, and you never try to say again, right? <laughs> and you're going to do the same thing here. <coughs> so don't, don't go back and don't say them again in case you make a mistake. Uh, right? Okay. Let's begin. One, two, fight! Able, bebel, uh, bubble, couple, double, feble, uh, fumble, gumble, global, humble, level, uncle, uh, buckle, circle, cycle, freckle, uh, knuckle, knuckle, wickle, Snorkel, sprinkle, tackle, awful, uh, careful, uh, cheerful, uh, double fall, uh, force fall, fight fall, uh, grass fall, uh, great fall, hand fall. Thank you very much. You're awesome. Thank you did a very good job. Approximately, you read three columns. Uh -huh. Very good. The next one. Who's gonna, who's gonna do it? I mean, did he try to go back to to, to other vocabulary? Actually, no. Uh, maybe he just mispronounced some of them, which is no problem during the 
process during the process of practice. But you did a good job. Great. The other one who's ready? Yes. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. But you're not going to read the same list, okay? It will not be fair at all if you read the same list. So please move on to the next list. Ready? One, two, fight. Bagel, battle, ego, giggle, jiggle, wiggle. Smuggle, snuggle, struggle, wiggle, apple, cup, couple, crumble, dimple, mumble, people, purple, sample, square, simple, st stable, uh, Alex, Excel, Anna, Bustle, ca Castle, Castle, Council. Very good job. Great. So, approximately cool two colors and Half of the other one. Thank you very much, guys. Um, so, another student who'd like to try? By the way, I will decide on the columns that you, you're supposed to read. Okay, let's see. So, um, begin, that's it, begin from FL. Okay, read it, please. Okay. Awful, uh, careful, careful, doubtful, uh, forceful, frightful, uh, graceful, grateful, harmful, harmful, hopeful. Great, very good job. Thank you very much. We'll see if you did a good job. Approximately as same as him. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, the other one, the last student, are you ready? Yes. So let's see. So so you're gonna read C L, G L and S L. Are you ready? <laughs> Okay. So just you know, let me make it easy to you. One C L F L G L. Are you ready? Yes. Great. Maybe look if you finish the G L, keep on reading because like I expect that you're a very good student, hardworking student to finish three columns. Ready? One, two. Uncle, bankle, uh, circle, cycle, wrinkle, uh, knuckle, nickel, pickle, so, uh, knuckle, sprinkle. Pickle, awful, careful, uh, cheerful, doubtful, uh, portal, fight, fight, rightful, uh, grateful, uh, grateful, handful, harmful, puffful, uh, beagle, buggle, eagle, uh, jiggle. Uh, okay, thank you very much. You did a very good job. All of you were awesome today. Um, I'm really proud of you all. Thank you very much. Okay, so you understand now what a consonant cluster is? Oh, yes. Okay, so what is a consonant cluster, guys? Uh, One, two, uh, two, two vowels? No. Two uh, vowels. What? Five vowels. Two, <laughs> two consonants. Yes, come, come do it. Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. Um, fine, so let's go back to the same text. Um, I'm going to give you some time to read it again. Look at the words again, but this time you will find some consonant clusters. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, again, what are you going to do? Find some consonant clusters. 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 Very good. Great. Go ahead. By the way, no timing. You don't have to worry. Okay? Examples? Oh, just like the same consonants that you found? A, E. A and E. Where is it? It's A and E? Yes. 
Uh, so we said you're, you're supposed to find two consonants, uh, uh, consonant clusters. Available. Available. So w which consonants are you B, talking about? B and F. Uh huh. Very good. Thank you very much. What else? So you see available. In B so it's B and F. Increasingly. Yeah, G and L. Uh, uh, very good. G and L. Very good. What else? Uh, people. Popular. Popular. Popular or people? Which one? People. Ah, uh, okay. People. It's P L. Uh, early. Which one? The early. early. No. So what, do, uh, where? Where? Where are they? R and L. Okay. R and L. Very good. And uh, green. Green ones. Which one? Uh, after people, uh, grew. After people, grew. Grew, yeah. Okay, very good. I mean, what you've just practiced is not the only list. There are some other lists, and it's a good idea to practice saying them from time to time. That will help you so much to decode difficult words. Okay? So, we're still talking about scoring pronunciation. Mm -hmm. And we looked at uh, consonants, clusters, vowels, and you know what vowel is. Right. The last thing we want to talk about uh, is uh, word stress. Word stress? Impressionally. Maybe this is word stress. Word stress, okay. You know guys, when you listen to native speakers of English or native life speakers of English, so you feel that they sometimes say the beginning of the word in a strong way. So you feel that it's stressed and the rest of the word is kind of normal. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what we call it stress. Now, do we stress everything? Do we, do we stress all syllables? No. Actually, no. Very good. And you know, guys, English words can be long and can be short. short. Um, English words can be one syllable words, two syllable words, three syllable words, four, four syllable words, and more. Do you know, guys, the longest word in English? It has a lot of syllables. Uh, no. Nominal, ultra microscopic, sulco volcano, caryosis. Yes, it's a scientist book. Exactly, yeah, kind of. Exactly, a medical yeah. word. Yeah. Okay, very good. So, ladies and gentlemen, when you say, when you read something, you're supposed just to focus on the stressed syllable. Okay? So, let's, let's just look at, for example, 20th. Listen to this 20th. 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 Which, which syllable is stressed? T. 20th. Yes. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, let's just look at camera. 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 The first. Is it the beginning or the end of the word is stressed? The camera. Very good. The beginning of it. Um, also, uh, listen to this. Um, increasingly. 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 Singling, very good. Increasingly, did you notice, guys? Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, also, which one? Listen to this. Hungry. Hungry. Where's the stress in the beginning? Ah, oh, yes, very good. Because I said, look, look at my hand. Look at my hand. Hungry. See, guys? Hungry. The rest of the word is a kind of normal thing. Okay? Now, I'd like you to do something. One of the aspects of natural reading is to focus on the stresses. I'd like you now to reread the text again, but this time just make sure to focus on the stresses, okay? You're advanced students and you know how to stress. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. No time for this exercise.
Thank you very much. I, I wish it wasn't so uh, difficult or challenging, wasn't it? No, no. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. So, so far we looked at so many different aspects. We looked at content. And do you remember, guys, what we said about content? The three things we're supposed not to do? Uh, words. Words, yeah. words. Sorry? But before the pronunciation thing, the content, we said add words. don't add words. Very don't, good. Skip, uh, don't, skip don't, words. don't skip words. Don't, replace words. don't replace words. Very good. We move on to the next one, which is scoring pronunciation. And we said there are four elements you should take care of. Which, is, which are the consonants, consonant clusters, vowels, and word stress. Okay, so I will try just to read the text to you, so just listen to me. Um, Photography's gaze widened during the early years of the 20th century, and as the snapshot, and as the snapshot camera became increasingly popular, the making of the photographs became increasingly available to a wide cross-section of the public. The British people grew accustomed to and were hungry to the photographic image. Great, thank you very much, guys. I mean, when I did it, did I make any mistakes? Yeah, and don't stress the words. Probably. Actually, I'm stressed. So, some, some other kinds of mistakes. Did I? Did I? Yes. Well, what kind of mistakes? You didn't take care of the, the full stop or. Thank you very much. This is something else we will talk about later on. There is something else I did, we already talked about, which is, when you make a mistake, don't try to get it back, okay? Very good. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, the next thing for today is scoring pronunciation. Uh, sorry, we talked about the scoring pronunciation and we mentioned the word express. Uh, sorry, we will talk about oral fluency. What's the meaning of oral fluency? Those are the elements of oral fluency, so sentence stress, connected, connected speech, posing, also the rhythm. So we're going to talk about them in details and one by one. Uh, first of all, sentence stress. Mr. Adam, we've just talked about word stress. What is the difference between sentence stress and word stress? I mean, when you when we say word stress, you just um, just focus on some parts of the word, of the word. Maybe the beginning of it, maybe the, the middle of it, maybe the end of it, right? Okay. But when you say an English sentence, there must be some words that are big, very well pronounced, very clear, and some other some other words. I don't want to say they are not important words, but we feel that they are not they they are not meaningful words. So an English sentence has two kinds of words, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say words that give meaning and words that give, let's say, uh, gives the grammatical or makes the grammatical points of the, uh, of the sentence, correct. Like, for example, when you say, uh, Mary is taking photos, Mary is taking photos, so we do feel that is, is a grammatical word, it's just to complete the present simple, uh, the present continuous, right? Yes, yes. But there are some other big words that give the sentence a meaning. Mm -hmm. Great. So uh, let's just look at the paragraph again, guys. This time, what I did is that I highlighted the words that are big, important, and give meaning to the text. Now, what you're supposed to do now is that you will try individually to read the text, but this time you will just focus a little bit on those words that are supposed to be strong and big. Okay? Uh, don't stress so much because we want you to read naturally. So you will be given this um, 25, uh, 25 or 27 seconds to read it. Ready? Yes, sir. Great. Go ahead. Limit. Um, 
So was it challenging? No at all. I think that the text is getting easier every time you practice it, right? Sure. That means that the big rule practice makes perfect, right? Anyone would like to try reading it publicly? By the way, you don't have to worry. Like, no problem. Don't, don't, don't be worried about it. Um, if you make mistakes or something, all people make mistakes. This is a learning process and there must be mistakes, otherwise you will not learn if you don't make mistakes. At the same time, I do believe that you can do it. Sure we can. Yellow. Who's ready? Me. Yeah. Great. Aisha. Uh, yes. Uh, the problem, photography is when did during the, the early years of the 20th century and as the snapshot camera uh, become increasingly popular, the making of uh, photography is becoming increasingly available to a wide cross-section of the public. The British people drew a suit as to to and <coughs> sorry, where very good. Thank you very much. You did a good. You did a good job. Uh, <laughs> you were a little bit shy. No problem. Um, but you were awesome. 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 Thank you very much. Anyone else would like to try? Uh, yes. Photography skills wouldn't during the earlier years of the 20th century, and as the snapshot camera became increasingly popular, the making of the photographs became increasingly available to a wide accusation of the public. The British people grew accustomed, uh, accustomed to and were hungry for photographic image. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Excellent. Okay, I just want to highlight something. They made, there is one mistake, both of them made. Uh, yes. <laughs> what is uh, don't skip the words, uh, they're wrong. Like, I, I'll be, uh, come back yeah. the... Exactly. Uh, the, yeah, so remember guys, we don't get back to words when we mispronounce them. Very good job, excellent, I'm really proud of you. That is sentence stress. So, photography um, is widened during the early years of the 20th century. And as for the snapshot camera became increasingly popular, the making of the photographs became increasingly available to a wide cross-section of the public, the British people grow accustomed to, and were hungry to photographic energy. Do you understand it, guys? Okay, you might say to yourself that, Mr. Adel, there are some other words I can stress. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, you want to stress 20th or maybe century. Okay, 20th is okay if you just like stress it. I mean, this thing might be different, slightly different from one to one, which is no problem. Read naturally. This is what we look at. Thank you very much. Uh, generally, so as you see, guys, what I was trying to tell you about sentence stress. Uh, in the beginning, we said there are big words, meaning words, words that give meaning, and some of the words that are not uh, that are not meaningful. They are grammatical. Like I just wanted to highlight something: how to decide on the big and meaningful words, and how to decide on the words that are not. Simply, simply do this. Look, look at the words. They are the key words. I mean, just imagine if you don't say them. Uh, will, this, will the text make sense? No, at all. At all. Would it be possible just to read it for us without those words? Okay. Don't read the cross words, okay? Okay. You know, go ahead. A gaze during the early years of the 20s and the become intrinsically the of, of become interesting increasingly to a cross a section of the grill to and where for the Sorry? Was it English? <laughs> Thank you very much, you did a good job. Okay, so deciding on which words you want to stress, that depends on the meaning itself. So because of that, it's very important that when you read aloud, to understand what you're reading. Maybe you don't understand everything by 100%. You remember guys, I told you in the beginning, to um, when you, you have 30 seconds to read, I said, please look at the big and key words, and also try to understand what the topic is about. Okay? You should read with understanding. Very good. Now, let's move on to the next thing. And this is like a challenge for some 
Um, for some English learners, they tend to say I watch American movies or British movies, but, but, I feel that they say a whole sentence in a word. Why do they do that? It's simply because they connect, they link words. And by the way, one of the aspects of natural speaking is linking. Okay, so, so in English, guys, you should know that we don't speak this way because if I talk this way, people would say that you are not a teacher of English, but you are a robot who speaks English and trying to teach us English. Yeah. Was that interesting? Yeah, no. At all, and boring, right? Sure. Okay, very good. So let me just like highlight some examples of words that can be linked. And then let's try to read the text again to, uh, to practice this thing. So let's just look at this during the early age, the early age, so we don't say the or the early age separately, so maybe you link them the early, the early years, sorry not age, the early, the early, the early, years of, years of, years of, and, and as, and as, and as, this way it's not and as, and to wide, to what, to wide, to wide, this way. The other one is of the public, it's not of and the, of the, of the public, of the public, so try to link them. So look, grow accustomed, grow accustomed, grow accustomed. The next one, we're hungry, we're hungry, we're hungry. So if you are, um, if you tend to communicate in British accent, so they say this way, we're hungry, we're hungry. And the other one is a photograph, a photographic image, photographic image, photographic image, photographic image. So just like link them. Now, I'm going to give you some time again, but this time you will just read the text again. Please focus on linking those words, okay? Maybe you want to link something else, which is not okay if it's natural. Okay, thank you very much. Who'd like to try to read it? Let's see. Oh, it's so courageous. So let's begin with um, what? Najum. Najum. Yeah, sorry, Najum. Let's begin with Najum and then with um, Nawaz. Okay, Najum. Particular bit is wooden. During the early years of, uh, years of the 20th century and the, the Snapchat camera became increasingly popular, the making of photographs became increasingly available to avoid uh, procession of, of, the, of the public as British people uh, grow accustomed to and were hungry for the photographic image. Okay, maybe you're not comfortable reading it from this one. Uh -huh. Maybe you can just go turn back to the previous page. Okay, turn back, go to the previous page. Okay, just maybe page number two. Go to page number two. Yeah, I'm going to give you another chance just to read it naturally. Okay? Yes. So, uh, could you read it again? Yes, sir. Photography is case within during the earlier, uh, the early years of the 20th century, and as the snapshot camera became increasingly popular, the making of the photograph. Uh, become increasingly available to a wide cross section of the public. The British people grow accommodated uh, to and were hungry for the photographic image. Very good. Okay, so next time you'll see you'll say accustomed. 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 Very good. Accustomed. And widened. 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 Very good. Uh, now, Russ, would you like to try? Okay. Yes. Hey, okay. go ahead. Photography is gaze waiting during the early uh, years of. Years of 20th, 20th, 20th century, and uh, and does the Snapchat camera become increasingly popular? The mix of 
The mix of uh, photographies become presently available to, uh, to avoid a cross session of public of the public the British people grow accustomed to and we're hungry for the, uh, the photographies image. Thank you very much. You did a very good job. Do you have any questions about it? Uh, no, thanks, sir. Very good. Thank you. We're still talking about oral flu fluency. So we talked about a sentence expressed. We said that in every, in every English sentence there are big and meaningful words and there are smaller words or grammatical words. So we stress the big words. Also we talked about connected speech. We said in English, uh, fluent or natural English speaking, you link. Very good. Thank you very much. And the next one for today is... Posing. What do you mean of posing? Posing? For a long time or short time? For a minute or a second? A minute. Second, second. Sorry. <laughs> Can you imagine that you read this one and you stop for a minute? What will happen? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'd like you, right? I'd like you guys just to look at the same paragraph again. Um, so just put some slashes, okay? Um, try to guess why those slashes. By the way, the slashes means uh, the uh, the slash. This slash means the pose. Try to tell me after you check all the slashes. Uh, try to tell me why the slashes are here, why the poses are here, okay? Please do it. Okay, thank you very much. Anyone wants to tell me about the poses? Why are we supposed to pose uh, those places? Um, it's the every sentence we pose, like every comma, every knee. Uh, oh, yeah, very good. Very good. Take your breath. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. Like it's impossible. It's impossible to say this. Photographs in East Wyden during the early, the early year of the 20th century and blah 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 Sorry, this is not a weapon, okay? It's da 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 So this way, English is a kind of, let's say, stressed language. There are some words that must be stressed. And at the same time, you should take into account to pose from time to time. I mean, what is the big rule of posing? Whenever you see a punctuation, so make sure to pose maybe for less than a second. Okay? It helps you so much catch up your grief. Okay? Also, um, as you see, guys, here we have and. It's a kind of linking word. Did you see it, guys? There is a splash up before it. Just like pose on uh, or like linking words and also uh, punctuations. Full stop, a comma, etc. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you another chance this time, but to do something for me. You read the text again, you read the same sentences again, but this time you will pose, okay? Uh, I'm gonna give you the same 27 seconds. Don't cheat, don't look, don't begin reading, just a minute. One, two, three. Very good. You made me proud, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, didn't you feel that now it's more comforting, easier to pose and give just a chance to catch up your breath? Okay, thank you very much. Um, anyone, anyone would like to try reading it? 
Hey, who'd like to try? Nauras. Yes. Photography saves me enjoying thoroughly. Sorry. If you feel this one is challenging, yeah. just like move because back. The... Oh, yes. Because just like. Okay, that one. So this is just for explanation. Okay, guys, posing and thinking. So you can just move back to another slide. Okay, let's say this one. Okay. Great. One, two. Are you ready? Yeah. Great. Okay, photograph photography is gay quickly during the area of years of years of twenty center and as the uh, the Snapchat camera become increasing popular, the makes uh, make the making of uh, photographies photographies become increasingly available to a world cross uh, session of the public. The British people grow grow accustomed to uh, and uh, we're hungry for the photographic image. Very good. Thank you very much. You did a good job. Anyone else? Yes, Legend? Uh, photography skills within and during the, the earlier years, uh, years of the 20th century. And the snapshot camera became increasingly popular. The making of photography became increasingly available to avoid a cross session of, uh, of the bubble. The British people grow uh, accustomed, <laughs> accustomed to and were angry, angry of the photographed image. So perfect. Thank you very much. Well done. You did a good job. Anyone else would like to try? <laughs> huh? Yeah? Sure of it. Photography days within during the earlier years of the 20th century and as the snapshot camera became increasingly popular, the making of the photographs became increasingly available to a wide cross uh, sec uh, section of the public. The British people grew accustomed to out uh, and were hungry for the photographic image. Very good. Thank you very much. I'm really proud of you guys. You did a very good job. Okay. Now, what is the secret? I mean, uh, sometimes students read the text very fast, they finish it within 12 seconds or 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds, um, because they are afraid not to miss the time, because they only have 35 to 40 seconds, right? Mm -hmm. So that they feel just like stressed, they feel afraid, I don't want to miss the time, but at the same time I'm supposed to read fluently, um, focus on stresses, words, stress, sentence, stress, oral fluency, etc. Like, this is so confusing. Now, what is the secret just to make it comfortable to you? Uh, learn fast reading. Learn fast reading. Okay, uh, like, reading very fast, reading fast is important because you mustn't exceed the 40 seconds. Otherwise, it might be close. Okay, I will tell you.
move on to the last one, which is the um, oral fluency. What do we mean by oral fluency? Sentence stress. Sentence stress. Connected speech. Posing and Posing. Uh, listen. Okay, very good. Correct the following sentences if you can. Uh, when when you read or when when you read a sentence, you should stress the grammatical words. Again, when you read a sentence, you should uh, stress the grammatical words. Is the that correct words. or not? The main words. The main words. Very good. Also, when you read a sentence, you mustn't pose. No, you, you must. Pose. Actually, you must. Uh, exactly. Must. Very good. So uh, otherwise, your speaking will not be natural. I mean, if you do, if you do all these things, guys. Oh, sorry, just a minute. Why don't you just do the right pronunciation, the right stress, the posing? Um, you just take care of the oral fluency. If you just like take care of all those elements, what what will that mean? It will mean that you will. Read fluently and in a very beautiful way, and you will keep the rhythm of the text. The rhythm, you know, guys, the conductor in a musical uh, musical band, so they do this. So just like to keep to keep everything rhythmic, okay? If just take care of all the previous elements, your reading will be rhythmic. So that's why the best tip for you when you read, please relax, because you know the strategies. You practice a lot, and also. You're qualified enough to take it. So just like feel relaxed, manage your time in a good way, and you will do it inshallah in a very good way. Okay, guys? So the last thing uh, I want to say, guys, that when you read a text like this, where is it? When you read a, a, such a text, there are some techniques you can just like implement to feel relaxed. We said to feel relaxed, you should read with meaning. Okay? And when you read with meaning, so you should enjoy what you're reading. Uh, and you know guys, during the teaching process, I was just moving my hands right and left and etc. And also you, when you read it, such a text, just move your hands this way. Yes, yes, yes. Don't just... This way, feel, feel stressed. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay guys? Yes. Just like, feel relaxed, feel happy, manage your time, and things will be so easy to you. Now, the last thing I want you to do before you leave, uh, we're going to practice now the same text, but we will take care of all the previous points that we talked about. Okay? This time I'm not going to give you 27 seconds, I will give you 40 full seconds. You see? I'm so generous. Yes, sir. You are. One, two, three. Thank you very much. Uh, like approximately most of you have finished within 33 seconds and 40 seconds. You did a very good job, guys. Uh, I just want to thank everyone, uh, every one of you so much for attending this free training PTE session. Uh, you're welcome, inshallah, for uh, other trainings. And um, uh, thank you so much for helping me videoing this uh, session. Wish you all the best. And uh, take into account that you take that one day if you want to go to university to take the PTE, it's so interesting, special and unique. There are so many sections that will help you maximize your score. So thank you very much and see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you.